In this video, I'm going to show you how to create and customize a control flow graph in Understand. I've already got a project loaded here, so in order to graph this function, I just need to find it. I'll do that by coming over to my entity filter and searching for the function, in this case, do call, that I'd like to graph. I'll right click on that, the name of the function there, come over to graphical views, and then down to control flow here. Once I click on that, that will load the control flow graph for this particular function. If you would like to see the control flow graph for a function in your code, all you'll need to do is simply right click on the name of the function if you're looking at the source code, or if you've got the uh, function pulled up in your information browser, you can right click there as well and get the same drop down menu uh, to load that graph. So what we have here is a visual representation of the do call function. Rather than reading line by line, we can look at the decisions being made and the flow of decisions here. This graph shows each of the decisions being grouped together, but if you would like to focus on a particular section uh, in this function, all we need to do is double click on any of these areas that we don't want to see and uh, focus on just the processes or parts of the decision that we'd like here. Now there's a lot of different options we have to customize this graph as far as what we can see and what we can't see. Up at the top we see here the legend for this graph. We can take a look at that, but I think it's pretty self-explanatory. So I'm just going to go ahead and right click, come down and turn off the legend. And we can do the same thing for many of the other options for this graph. If we would like to see this graph in a simpler view without all of the clustering, we can come in and go to cluster, turn that off, and this will give us a very nice, clean, uh, simplified view. Now I'm going to right click once again in the white space of the graph and point out just a couple more options here in the menu. I can come down and turn on or off the comments. We're down to the bottom. I can actually turn on or off the source code. And if I do that here, what I get is a view of the control flow graph without any of the code. So if you need to share your control flow graph, but you're working with proprietary uh, source code, you can do this with this view. One last thing that I'd like to point out with this graph is that if there is a line that you'd like to take a look at in the source, all you need to do is right click. So for example, if I want to take a look at get token, I right click on that, so you go to source, and here I can see get token in my source. Then I can go back to the tab with my graph and view that again here. Now, if I would like to take a look at the control flow graph for my entire program, what I can do is come over to my entity filter and search for the main function. Once I've found the appropriate main function, I will right click and select my control flow graph for that. When viewing a main function, be sure to right click and double check that the allow call expansion is checked to on. That will allow you as you are browsing your main function to double click on any function you see and view the control flow graph for that function. And then if you double click, you're right back to your original view. This was a brief overview of control flow graphs inside of Understand. If you have any questions about using control flow graphs, you can email us at support at scitools.com or go online to scitools.com support.